you never quite know what to expect when you head out for a day of boating, kind of like two people found out this past week when they took this 20-foot vessel seen in the images here out boating when all of a sudden the vessel began to take on water, wound up capsizing. Fortunately, Miami-Dade authorities were quick to respond. They claimed both the passengers were wearing life vests, and fortunately there were no injuries reported, which is a good end to this one, kind of like some of the other things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Mississippi, where this was the scene just a few days ago when a captain and two paying passengers were heading out on a charter fishing trip when all of a sudden they saw an airplane coming in a little low and acting a little funny and it wound up crashing in front of them nearly 25 miles offshore. The incident occurred near the Chandelier Islands. The charter captain quickly jumped into action, letting the crew know they were going to approach the plane and see if they could assist them in any way. As they approached the plane, they saw that everybody appeared to be fine and they began to evacuate the four passengers from the airplane over onto their charter boat. The captain claims at the time of the incident, the sea state was pretty rough, hindering the operation and making it difficult for them to try and get the people out of the airplane. They approached the plane and just pulled one passenger out at a time, taking their time to make sure everything was done and nobody was injured during the incident. This was a pretty fortunate scene because where this happened is a very remote area. Had this crew not been there, things could have been a lot worse. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Thailand, where this was the incredible scene that happened just a little over a week ago, when 108 passengers were on a ferry that was leaving Suratani, heading to Koh Tao, when all of a sudden, as they approached Koh Tao, one of the passengers smelt smoke, leading the crew to investigate what it was. All of a sudden, the crew noticed that there were flames coming from the engine room, causing the crew to go ahead and sound the alarm and alert passengers that they may have to evacuate the ship. Several passengers recalled the event, counting that they were surprised at how calm everybody stayed during the incident. Life jackets were handed out to everybody on board the vessel, and of course local authorities actually responded very quickly with boats out to the ferry in a short order of time. Somehow miraculously, all 108 passengers on board the ferry were accounted for without injury, and even though the vessel did wind up catching on fire, the vessel actually stayed afloat and was able to be towed back into port. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Boynton Beach, Florida, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago, when two people decided to go out for a little bit of night boating heading out of Boynton Inlet, when all of a sudden, as soon as they got out of the mouth of the inlet, the vessel hit a large wave, causing the boat to capsize. Fortunately, in this situation, both the passengers were able to grab onto the hull of the vessel, and the hull of the vessel itself wound up getting caught in Boynton Inlet's current coming back in, which dragged the boat back in from the ocean into the intercoastal waterway, where local authorities were able to go rescue the two people off the hull of the vessel and get them back to dry land. Fortunately, in this situation, both were rescued without any injuries. This is another one of those lucky situations though, because they got pulled back into Boynton Inlet, bystanders saw the incident and were able to contact local authorities. Had the vessel stayed out in the open ocean, this would have been a whole lot harder to spot. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Georgia, where this was the scene just this past week, when four people decided to head out for a day of fishing out of St. Mary's Inlet, when all of a sudden, once they got just a little out past the jetty, they realized their vessel was taking on water. They issued a mayday call, and several services wound up responding to the scene. Fortunately, local crews were able to get on the vessel with a dewatering pump and get it under control so the vessel could be brought back into the marina. But this serves as a good reminder if you're heading out there, especially this time of year where many of us are getting back out there for the first boating days of the season, before you go anywhere, always double check and make sure everything's working on your boat including those bilge pumps. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Kyle Johnson and Adam Coolidge did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button.